It's Thursday, February 3rd, 2022, when I'm filming this. Temperature outside this morning is minus 32 Celsius or minus 25 Fahrenheit. It's cold. It's going to be a good day, though. So the reason we're up and about a little bit later today than usually than I usually would be on a weekday is because I had a doctor's appointment again this morning. Lots of doctor's appointments in the next few months. I've explained this in the past. Uh, this one wasn't related to IVF. It was related to uh, my other stuff. I have some other checkups that I have to go and do. I have another appointment uh, in Winkler for an MRI. It's There's a, a pain in my back, a dull ache in my back that's been there for years now. And we've been trying to figure out what it is. Sometimes it gets pretty bad, sometimes it goes away. Uh, I've gone through uh, I have some massage therapy. Uh, it's right around where my right kidney is, right beneath my rib cage. And when I sit back in my chair, I can, uh, I can, f it feels like there's a lump there. And when you say that, it, it brings up like anxiety, like, oh, what do you mean a lump, right? And uh, I don't think I'm dying or anything, but I want to know what this is and it's been getting worse. So I want to know how bad it's going to get. Is there something I can do? Maybe it's something in my diet. I've cut alcohol out. It seemed in the past that if I had alcohol, it would agitate it. Uh, but I haven't had a drink in eight months and it's still, still there. It's worse in the mornings. Uh, it's not crippling pain, but it has gotten to the point where I can hardly roll over in bed at night. And then as I get the blood moving and blood pumping throughout the day, it sort of sort of gets better and I can get my mind off of it. So I'm not a doctor. I have no idea what's going on, but that's why I'm at the doctor here to try and figure out what, what is going on. It's been about two years. I was supposed to have an MRI uh, a year ago already, but due to COVID, uh, it's been delayed and delayed and delayed until finally I said, okay, let's just wait till things calm down and we'll figure it out then. So. It seems like things m might be calming down, who knows? But uh, I figured I'd give it a shot now and he's got me scheduled for another MRI appointment. I've got to wait for the uh, for them to call me back to see what time works for them. And uh, we'll go and check things out there. I've already had a CT scan, I believe. I think that's what it's called, of my whole abdomen. All of my organs are 100%. My kidneys are 100%, liver's 100%. Everything looks as it should be. They, it doesn't look like there's anything wrong. And I know it's not in my head, okay? So, <laughs> we're gonna figure this out. And uh, that's that's what I was doing this morning. So don't worry about me, I'm doing fine. But that, that's why we're running a little later today. We're gonna go and uh, get our truck, warm it up, hook onto a trailer. Uh, I think I gotta grab some tarps and head back to Kenora today. It'll be a little bit of a later day today because I'm getting a later start, but uh, no time to waste. We have uh, an appointment there this afternoon. Look at this guy. Now that's a flag. <laughs> before, before leaving town, stopped and got Timmy to treat myself because I went to see the doctor because I'm a good boy. May as well. It's gonna be a long day. I, I have a feeling it's gonna be a long day. It doesn't have to be a long day, but I just have a feeling it's gonna be a long day, and that that's okay. That's okay, I don't mind it. We're just gonna we're just gonna truck along. I just hope that the brakes aren't frozen on the trailer I'm supposed to take today. It looked I looked at it yesterday and it looked like it had been sitting there for since before the last blizzard. I have to dig it out pull it out of there and hopefully none of the brakes are frozen so that we can just you know giddy up and go then I gotta go find tarps yet hmm. but the ride to Kenora will be nice it's a heated cab nice like two two and a half hour drive just cruising listening to music so the majority of the day will be nice and warm and 
we'll just see see what happens we'll see what happens i'm just going to show you the trailer we're going to grab today if no one grabs it before i do in the next half hour or so right there you can kind of see it's been in here a while hopefully the brakes aren't frozen i have no idea what that big steel thing is up on the actually i do i don't know what it's called i mean i'll show you what it's for though it's for that hauling big cement pieces for buildings all right she got to sleep in today so she better not be grumpy now come on better start up for me oh time is 9 30. Uh, so my appointment in Kenora is at 1 30. that means i have 10, 30, 11, 30, 12, 30, 12, 30. four hours to get there and it's a two and a two hour drive two and a half hour drive so i have an hour and a half to get everything ready here and skedaddle so i'm not in that big a rush but you know you you want to get things you want to be ready sooner because just in case something goes wrong along the way that you have time to fix problems and still be on time first problem it's cold can't fix that though It was plugged in. Shouldn't have any issues. The block should be nice and warm in there. Oh boy. Whew. Yep. All right. Mandatory. Okay. Here we go. You guys ready? Shame on you for doubting her. Make sure it starts building air. Gotta clean these gauges again, don't I? Man, I need to dust this place. Come on, start building air. You wanna see that needle start moving up. This one's gonna go up first and that one will come up second. Come on, come on. Oh, don't be grumpy, you got to sleep in. Oh, I don't see it moving, uh-oh. That could be a problem. Yeah, I don't think we'll be taking this truck out today. She's not building air again. Got too cold overnight. It was minus 37 overnight. She doesn't like it. Everything else is looking good, but we're not building air. I'll give her about 10 minutes here, and if nothing improves, I'm gonna have to go in there and get the keys to another truck. In the meantime, the place is filthy. Come on, girl. Come on, don't disappoint me like this. You got to sleep in. Ah, oh boy, I hate it when she's grumpy. This is exactly what I mean by needing a little bit of extra time to get ready in case something slows us down so uh i'm gonna try some uh airline antifreeze right away see if i can get whatever valve is stuck to release and if that doesn't do anything well the shop's gonna have to work on that and i'm gonna have to go and uh grab a different truck for the day i got some time yet i'm just trying to get the engine at least a little bit uh warmed up see if it'll just take a minute or two i'll give it 10 minutes see if see if the valve is gonna release kind of makes me nervous though if it is already stuck it might get stuck again throughout the day so i'll probably put airline antifreeze through it just in case anyway but i mean trucking right trucking in canada <laughs> ah there's always an adventure waiting for us every day just gonna warm up for another minute or two here my hands are like frozen I can't even feel them and I'm gonna get my jacket on my good gloves on and we'll see if we can quickly take care of this it'll only take a few minutes I'm just gotta remove one of the airlines and throw some uh, sort of like uh, what do I know? it's called airline antifreeze you just throw some of that in there and the compressor will shoot it through the system and whatever valve is stuck it'll hit that valve and melt all the ice on it and then it'll release and 
we should be off to the races, right? Should be. Be nice if we could park these things indoors overnight, because then you wouldn't have to ever worry about that, right? I drain the tanks every day. I've, I've started doing that since this happened last time. So at the end of my day, I drain, uh, or at least pull on the airline, like where the air tanks are, compressed air, right? There's a little release valve, and if there's moisture in the tank, it collects at the bottom, and there's a little release valve you can pull, and it, goes, and it sprays out a little bit of mist sometimes, because the condensation, and gets the water out of the tank so that it gets it out of the air system. I did do that yesterday, and there wasn't any air in the system at, at the end of my day, or there wasn't any moisture in there, as far as I could tell, so I didn't think we'd have this problem today. But alas, here we are. <sighs> yeah! We got it! <laughs> I'm somewhat of a mechanic, this side. <laughs> so I removed the airline from the compressor where it shoots air into the, into the truck, into the air tanks, right? You dribble a little bit of uh, airline antifreeze in there into the hose, you reattach the hose to the air compressor, start the truck back up, now it's shooting all of that antifreeze back into the system wherever, finding wherever it's frozen, right? It worked. It actually worked. I fixed it. Ha! I didn't even need the shop. Ha! Huh. They're gonna have to start paying me for being a mechanic. I have to get a mechanic's wage. I keep fixing this thing myself. <laughs> okay, well there we go. Now you see the secondary air tank rising as well. Oh yes, that feels good. That feels good to fix something. Mechanic Josh right here. Okay, so I've let the air pressure build completely up. And I'm gonna pump the brakes to bring the air levels down into the red there again. that RPM up a little bit and now I'm gonna watch to make sure that it fills up again this one's already filled up excuse all the dust and dirt on the dash it's uh it's bothering me too yeah uh, that one's moving gotta wait for that one to come out of the red now as well both air tanks primary air secondary air the secondary air always fills up first and there you go it's filling up good so before I leave here, uh, before I leave here, I'm gonna try it one more time. I'm gonna drain it all the way down to zero. Make sure it builds all the way back up, just to make sure that those valves are are well uh, moving well. Cause I don't want to get stranded out on the road on the way to Kenora. It gets a little secluded out there. But I have some more airline antifreeze here, and now I know how to fix this myself. I've had a consistent problem with this truck with the same problem throughout this winter. So now. Whenever this happens, I know what works and I know how to fix it real quick. I don't have to, you know, get in line for the shop. I'll just... There you go. This also comes from experience with owning my own truck. I, I own my own, well, I leased a truck uh, more than once here before in the past. I don't have any right now. I, I, this is, truck isn't mine, but you, know, you run into these problems when you have your own truck and you're expected to fix it. Well, it's just cheaper to fix it yourself, right? So you learn how to fix these things. It also helps having a dad that's been driving for, what, 30 years or more, 35 years, and he owns his own truck. So anything that could possibly break on this truck, dad knows how to fix. So all I'd have to do, I didn't have to ask him this time, because he's already he's already showed me how to do this. He already told me how to do this. But uh, if I had a problem, all I'd have to do is send him a text and, you know, he'd He's, he's like a an on-call mechanic. <laughs> That's very handy to have. Okay, so it looks like everything is good. It's built back up. Good to go. So yeah, it's, uh, I love my parents a lot. They're uh, hard-working people. Anything to do with a truck, I can call dad. He, can, he most likely has the answer. And my mom's an accountant, owns her own business. So anything to do with taxes, or anything to do with uh, big money or bills or the government, money-wise, the CRA, Canadian Revenue Agency. Mom has all the answers to that, so I'm pretty set. I wouldn't mind, like I said, if I one day buy my own W900, I know I'll be pretty set and have all the knowledge I need to, uh, to run my business. But for now, we've got this truck running. Let's go get our trailer and let's get out of here. We've uh, 
got an hour now. So we used a half hour doing this. All right, everything is working as it should. Needed a little bit of convincing this morning, but we're friends. Whether she wants to be or not, we're friends. Okay, and we're hooked up. Oh, I gotta run air through the system. Okay. Make sure that there's no... You hear that ticking sound? That's the air filling up these tanks. No air leaks there, that's fantastic. So I showed you what these are for, right? This is bolted on here, so it just stays here. We're gonna load up, uh, I think, lumber, I think, behind here, from here back, and then I believe I got a tarp. I think it's lumber. I'm gonna have to double check all that. But... Uh, I don't know what we're loading. Doesn't really matter to me. Whatever it is, we'll... I'm ready for it. We'll put it on the trailer and bring it on home. I know the load is going to Minnesota. And then this trailer's got to go and pick up more of that cement that goes on here and rusts on that. So the Minnesota load is just getting it down there. And then the main load is like all these cement pieces. Like that. It's for a big project in Winnipeg. I know that project is keeping us pretty busy. We have a bunch of rental trailers already trying to keep up. And that's good. Being busy is good. Keeping things moving, that's what we do. All right. I'm gonna pull this thing out of here. Just make sure all the wheels are turning and then I'll do the walk around out here in the open. Make sure all the lights are working and such. Okay. Whew. Whew. Yep. Okay, come on. Please tell me you're you're not frozen. Okay, come with me. Come with me. Nice, good girl. She's coming. Oh good, that means she's probably not frozen. So I'm gonna veer a little this way. Look in my mirror, I see all the wheels turning on that side, all three axles. And then I'm gonna veer this way a little bit so we can see the axles there. All three axles turning. Yes! Oh, no frozen brakes today. Just frozen airlines. Okay, only one problem, not two. One problem is better than two problems. Okay, we're just out in the open here now. Now I can go out there and check on everything. Yes! Oh, I like you. I like you. Who are you? You're not one of ours. Who are you? Number 77594. I did turn my signals on, okay, that, what? Huh? Huh? You saw that, right? What's going on over here? Is that one on? That one's not on either. <laughs> ah, I see. A little bit of a loose connection. I'm gonna have to make sure that that's fixed before leaving. Lights, 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 lights. Man, I love this trailer. Oh, but I'm... Sorry, I got one criticism of it. These uh, ratchets don't slide, but there's a lot of them. See, there's one here and there's a hook here. So on the other side, there's another one, another one there, one here. So there's tons of them. That'll, that'll be fine, whatever, whatever, whatever. It's the only thing. I, ha I always have to find something, right? Nothing's perfect, but 99% perfect. I like the sliding ratchets better. It's just easier to tie freight down, but very, very small issue. Very small. Okay, our lights back here. We want people to be able to see what we're doing. Oh, that's frozen on there. Well, you can see the lights. Okay. Wow. Won't be able to. You'll see this piece back here is secure, tied down. That's for something else. We'll just leave that there. Make sure these tires are filled with compressed air. Oh, that's wonderful. Come on, two more to go. Yes! Light, working, signal. Okay, nice. Hey, what's in here? Ooh, it's like a mystery box. Oh, it really doesn't want to open. Okay, well, fine then. You don't have to open. Another signal here. Two signals on this side of the trailer. Was there two on the other side too? Let's go check. 
go check. Real quick now. Was there two in there? Oh yeah, we got her all closed up today. It's another cold one. There is two on this side too. Well, jeepers. Jeepers creepers. Right, there. How do I not see that? That's why you do, ah, you see this one. That's why you walk around twice. Rolling around the bypass of Kenora right now. Looks like we're about 15 minutes out from destination. Gonna be loading up a load of lumber. It's gonna be pretty fancy lumber, I guess, because it needs to be tarped. And it's going down into Minnesota, a town that starts with a B, and it's not Bemidji, it's a different one. I forget right now, but it's going down to Minnesota. I'm not taking it there. I'm just taking it back to our yard. We have our regional guys that are gonna be taking it down there and then picking up some more of that cement. I explained that to you this morning already, right? Yeah, I did. Nice countryside around here though, eh? At least the roads are dry. Really good traction today. Though I know on the camera it always doesn't do it justice. It always looks worse than it is. It's actually really good today. Look at this out here though, eh? Wouldn't it be nice to have a cottage on that lake? Man. I wonder what property taxes are out here on the water. You know what? Never mind. I don't even want to know. I can't afford it, so I don't want to know. <laughs> Beautiful, here's that lake again. So many lakes in Northern Ontario, lots of fresh water. If you look at a map of Ontario, uh, go into the northern part of Ontario, like near the Manitoba border and outwards there, even into Northern Manitoba and zoom in, look at how many lakes there are. Tiny little lakes, they're all left over from the glaciers that used to be covering this whole part of the continent. This used to be underneath a mile of ice, if you believe that, under a mile of ice. Things have warmed up since then and now we have all of this here. Beautiful country to enjoy. Well, Pete, you did good. You were a little grumpy this morning and I expect better from you tomorrow. Okay? Counting on you. Chevy's never this grumpy, huh? The Chevy always wakes up just fine. What's up with you? I don't even know if you can see it or if it's too dark. That's where I put her. That was a pretty cool tarping machine they had there though, eh? That was nice. I've seen those before and I've vlogged about them before. Some machines are a little different than this. This one was a little different than any one I've seen before, but that helps a lot, makes it so much easier. It makes it go so much faster when they have a tarping machine like that. That was really cool. But the time is now nine o'clock PM. It's time to go home. We gotta be back here in the morning again. Time to go home, brush our teeth, go straight to bed, cause we're adults. Woo! Adulting. Nothing new, I've been doing this for a while already, so. Forget what it's like to be a kid, you know? 
No worries, no cares, no bills. That was the life. That was the life. It must have been nice. I don't remember. It was so long ago. <laughs> but you know what? Being an adult is pretty fun too. Because you know what? No one's there to tell you not to eat another piece of pie. I can eat as much pie as I want. I make the rules. I'm the adult. <laughs> Speaking of which, I need to go pick up some ice cream. This weekend, not today. Today I gotta go home and go to bed. Gotta be responsible today. Tomorrow maybe we'll go pick up some ice cream and I can eat as much as I want. No one can say anything about it. Ha! We'll talk to you later, guys. See you tomorrow. <laughs>